Hello and uh, welcome to lesson number nine. In this lesson, we're going to learn about uh, corridor surface and sample line. Uh, go ahead, uh, download the description. There is a link for this file. Download this file, and then you can go ahead and follow along. This is the file we've been have working on. Uh, we could create a corridor. Now we're going to create a, a corridor surface for it. There are two. Uh, common type of a corridor surface. One is a top and the other one is a datum surface. Let me bring this over to you on this side here. And the top surface is uh, basically the follow the uppermost geometry of the corridor. And then you have a datum surface which is follows the bottom uh, a, uh, um, a corridor geometry. Uh, let me see here. Uh, if we look at this right here, this will be the bottom right there. A the bottom right here where it touches the surface all the way. So that's the bottom. And the top is for the top elevation. And you need to create these surfaces if you want to go ahead and create a, a cut and fill and quantities. All right. Uh, so download this file. Uh, the link is down below and let's get to work. Okay. Uh, go to uh, uh, home uh, from the home tab. No, go to uh, view tab. From the view tab and down below where you have a name viewed there's that drop down menu click on that and you want to go to a uh, uh, corridor surface right here click on corridor surface and that will bring us back into this here basically zooms it in for us and the uh, uh, you can notice when we do that our scale down bottom here changes to one inch to 50 feet All right now we're here and uh, select uh, one of these corridor there's one here and there's the other one right here. So I'm going to select this one. And when you do that, the ribbon up top is going to change. From here, go to where it says the corridor property. Click on that. And then from the drop down menu, again, click it one more time. Corridor property. And then you come up to right here to this window. From this window, you see there's a lot of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these uh, different tab. And let's go to uh, a surface tab. You, know, you might end up in a parameter tab like this. But go ahead and let's go move to a uh, surface tab. Click on that one. And then come back right here in this far corner. This right there it says create corridor surface. Click on that. And then you have this come up. Let's rename it. It's going to be the top. Remember we talked about top and bottom, top and datum. So this is going to be the top. And then uh, uh, the surface style that's fine, two feet and uh, 10 is okay. And then uh, from top right here, from a data type, make sure this is on the links. That right here, click, make sure that's on links. And then over here, the specify code, and here should make sure that's top again, because we put top here, we want it to be top. And now go ahead, click the plus sign. And then coming back down here, in overhang correction right there, where it says none, click on that and make it to a top links. Now come back up to the tab up here where we have all these tabs. Find the boundaries right there. Click on boundaries tab and click on this uh, accent PI tab corridor and right click and select corridor extent as outer boundary. Click that. And now click OK. So now we're going to do the same exact thing for this side here. We want to prepare the side. So when you do the cross section and you want to create a cut and fill, you got to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side again. There we go. So we're going to repeat the same thing. Come up here, click corridor, corridor property. And we're going to come into a surface. Click Add. Okay, so just like last time, we're going to go ahead and do the boundary. Click on the boundary. And then click on uh, Highlight one of them and right click. And Add Corridor Extended Outer Boundary. And let's do the same, same thing with the datum one. Right click and Corridor Extended Boundary. Now click OK. You may be prompted, maybe not. And if it does, rebuild the corridor and save the project. So we need this to do cut and fill. 
Okay, in our next exercise, we're going to create sample line. Uh, this is basically continuation from our last drawing, but we just added additional corridor and intersection. It allows the cross section, enable the cross section to examine the existing and proposed surface elevation. So you got you're building a highway. You have a proposed uh, roadway with a different elevation, as we learned in a, a profile. And uh, this allowed that cross section examine both the proposed and the existing elevation in civil 3D, which makes it really, really good. All right, let's go to uh, View tab right here. <clears throat> and from View tab, let's uh, change the, uh, whoops, uh, bring the, basically zoom this by in. So if you click on uh, corridor QTO, it zooms back in, so you have this view. And then from here, from a home tab, let's go to the um, go to home tab, and come up to the uh, profile section view right here. And you can see the sample line right there. Click on sample line, and when you click, it prompts you. Okay, you it will ask you which alignment you wanna select. So while you're in this mode, hit enter, and that will bring this uh, um, window. And the one we wanna use is Jefferson Ranch Road. Okay, this is this one right here. And click OK and then we come into another window right here let's clear out to these two bottom right here and now it is cleared out so all we have is Jefferson Ranch Road click OK and we have this window right here from this window there's a lot of tabs come up to right here the second drop down menu or the first one from the right box will be right here click on that and you want to arrange by station when this comes up here we're going to put all the information how do you want them the station range remember if we had this right here we said the station right there was 1 plus 17 start it's not zero so we're going to change that right here make it 1 plus 17 enter and i believe ended that right here at 10 plus 35 right there so let's go ahead and make this to a 10 plus 35 enter and they have a left swath and a white swath outside of the center line how far you want to go outside of the center line that way when you have your cross section you can see the existing ground and the new ground how far you want to go 100 feet is a good distance for a small road like this one if it was a highway we probably used to 300 but that's good and then how often you want to go 50 feet is perfect that's good we keep that all done there let's click ok and here we have our uh, uh, sample line right there. You can see them. Let me get rid of this here. And and now you have this. If this window come up here, just come up here. Click action. That's all need to be updated anyway. I'm going to clear the event. <coughs> and there's this right here. This is your uh, sample line station f 4 plus 0. If you click on one of So uh, if you grab one of these... Uh, simple line right here you can actually grab it and move it anywhere you want it or grab the end right here and you can move whoop hold on i get it there you can move it around or whatever you want angle if you have a pipe extending this way and you want to see the end of that pipe you can go ahead and do that too i said escape get out of here and come back here if you have something like that just right click on it and you can go ahead and rebuild it or update it and that should take care of it. All right. See you in the next lesson. Have a good day.